Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It seems like a while since we've done one of these, but we're back doing the best car in Rocket League. I hope you have been enjoying all the content on the channel lately. It's going to be continuing. Really looking forward to Borderlands 3. But this video is all about the new car in Rocket League, the Mudcat. So let's get straight into that. So yeah, the Mudcat here it is on the left in the red. So I'm going to quickly jump into the garage, give you a bit of a showcase. Actually, what I'll do first is go into the Rock Pass and see the three different variations that this car actually can be. So you can see my current one here. It's pretty plain. At the start, I didn't like the design of this car, but it's kind of grooming. and I do like the decals, which I'll be showing you soon. The back of it's a bit interesting and Yes, it is the Octane hitbox, which every car seems to be now. That's two in a row with the Fennec in this. So this is the second one, the G1, which adds a bit of spoilers, bit of flair. It starts to get a bit interesting looking. I like it a bit better here. Then if we move it up, I think it just goes straight up to the tier 70 one, which it looks like it does. And I really like the look of this car. So obviously the way the decals are here, or not the decals, the way the... Well, I'll call them decals that are floating. Um, I'm yet to find out if you can change the color of them. But if it's something interesting and it deserves another video, I'll do it as soon as I get this tier 70 on the Rock Pass. I'm not about buying the ranks because I play it so much, it'll be fine. And I do think this car actually looks sick. So yeah, let's get straight into the customization. So here's the car, 12 ones with it so far. I've been playing with it for a bit. I've been enjoying it. So yeah, this, block out let me actually just change from pearlescent to moon rock that'll give you a good definition of the decals so yeah you can see it just literally blocks out a load of different parts and i think it looks quite cool whenever i had it with pearlescent there's the drifter which i know some people will be into this one quite a lot it's minimalist to say the least and we have also racing bolt which is also quite nice and then winner circle which I've se probably seen the most if I've been playing with people. Uh, there's some quite nice colors. This one might look really good once you start getting uh, painted ones. And then as well, the wide stripes, which is kind of similar to the block out one. If you change this back to pearlescent, that's the kind of design I've been going for. So same as the other cars, you don't get any wheels with it. I'm, my current thing is to go for like realistic looking wheels. So I'm using gear lock, I think this is the car. Boost, nothing to show you, toppers, nothing to show you. I'll show you my cupcake, which currently has over 10 days worth of gameplay. No goal explosions. I have the race track on, which is the newest trail from the Rocket Pass, which is quite nice. If you want a video on the Rocket Pass, make sure to let me know, because it's a controversial one. So I'm going to let you listen to the engine sound, guys, and yeah, tell me what you think. Yeah, so I don't think it sounds the worst out of all the cars. Um, so yeah, as I previously said, Octane Hitbox seems like a solid car. I'm looking forward to getting the higher grade ones because I think it looks a lot better. And yeah, uh, all the cars that I've missed that I haven't done since they've came out, I will be catching up on. And then I might do the original cars in the game, but that'll be something different and special where we might do like a top 10 or rating all the original cars or something like that um, where we just talk about them go over them and might do it on something different like looks and hitbox and stuff so yeah there's a lot of content going to be coming on the channel guys and we hopefully do a battle stations video this week a really fun channel or video so yeah as always guys enjoy the gameplay give me your feedback and i'll see you in the next video uh, video <laughs> Boom! You traded. Did we? Yeah. What? 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, crazy. Ah, it was just a heat seeker missile there. It's just a case of beep 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 Oof, unlucky. No! That's so fucking annoying. When you contested that ball, it just pushed him back and the ball just fell straight back to him. Look at that. Yeah. Ridiculous. Who even uses standard octane anymore? Like... That's a mem, by the way. Hmm. I kind of like it better than the ZSR. I love it's the like ZSR. It's like, uh, <sighs> I prefer the, like, in Forza, I like the normal, like, Sylvia, not the Rocket Bunny one. Ah, yeah, I respect that, yeah. I, there's not a lot of white bodies I do like. They're cool, but if you want a car to look good, I wouldn't go for a white body. Yeah, they're just like a show off thing. They do like allow for a lot of performance enhancement things like. Well, well. I jumped at the last second because I had flashbacks to where I missed from not jumping and I hit the crossbar. <laughs> One of the things I've noticed, and I knew this about the skyline anyway. The turning circle and stuff and the skyline and moving it in the air seems a lot slower than like other cars. But it's just I mean if you're used to the octane, the skyline pretty much every other hitbox is longer than the octanes. Yeah, well, it's, true. The octane's the shortest hitbox. What's the Takumi? The, the Takumi's the octane hitbox. See I I can't remember after they like standardized the whole thing. It makes sense that they standardize it. It's oh, yes. Much. Easier on developers as well. Yeah. They can just press a button. Yeah. Or like when they're designing a car for the for the hitbox, they just type in octane instead of every single like number. Yeah. Initially, I wasn't sure on the looks, but it's already starting to grow on me. Not a better. He's got that every day of the week. Boom. That's a pass to you. Well done, well done. Big well done. Oh! I would put it straight to him, that would be me. Like, just putting that in the skyline. Hmm. Oh, that was a big boy. Hit the crossbar. So it's gonna be. Oh wow! After bouncing, yeah. it's eighty-five. Oh. Didn't really bounce in the replay for me. No. Oh. Ah oh, shit. My bad. Oh. <laughs> You're full boost. 69, baby. Oh, you just missed that one. Oh, I got bumped. I just wanted to backflip and get to where he was going to shoot, but somebody bumped. Was it him? No. It's him, yeah. I have so many. Them with the cities on, I have so many different colors in them. Shit. 
Oh, I was so sure it was hitting the ceiling, dude. Oh my, it wasn't even a pass because you were the next one who touched it. You're gonna say what I think you're gonna say? Yep. <laughs> Not to be racist or anything. Sure, he got that boost just to waste it by passing it to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my. See if you didn't jumble jumble jump there. Jumble jump. Jumble jump. Hey, you jumble jumble jumping. Jumping jump. Jumping Oh my. It's fine. It's fine. I also bumped the guy, so... Just fucking time waste, dude. Sweet. Here it comes. 